what's up. <laughs> oh, he's barely hooked. Oh, yeah. What an awesome bite. Six cents trace in the face. <laughs> that was a cool bite, man. Blew up on that thing. That was a bite. They blow up on that, that trace. That was so cool. You know, it's a six inch multi-jointed swim bait that you reel really quick on top of the water. This is the floating version. It's a six inch trace. You saw from that blow up, it's a vicious attack when they hit it. Every bite's like that every time. You know, a lot of people fish it wrong. They don't fish it fast enough. You saw me burning that thing right on top of the water and man, they try to kill it when they eat it. That was worth a stop. Trace eater. I'm throwing a six, oh, six inch trace that just got murdered. It's a six inch multi-jointed inline swim bait that just gets bit by big ones. <laughs> get in here yeah like I was saying <laughs> it's a multi-jointed oh man where'd my tail go swim bait that has a soft tail that you reel really fast on top of the water like that <laughs> and get ferocious bites out here on Lake Fork and everywhere else I throw it everywhere I go there's my little tail that tail just is just an insert in the back of it and you can glue it in. I just never glue it in. That was awesome. Another beautiful Lake Fork fall transition into the turnover fish. Uh, you know, we tried to catch them out deep. We really did. Uh, it's just, it's not the right time. You know, these fish are, are moving with the lake turning over right now. And man, I had a blast, you know, blasting them on a six inch catwalk. And what y'all just saw right there, it's a six inch trace, it's a six inch multi-jointed bait. I reel it real fast on top of the water. I mean, real fast. It's really loud in the water, real erratic, and they blow up on it. That's what we're doing, real shallow, little little shallow bars, little uh, shell beds, little points. And you could do it just going down the bank right now. We've done that too. You know, I throw this trace on a 7.3 medium heavy rod, 20 pound fluorocarbon. You don't have to get crazy with it. You could throw it on a 7.6 if you wanted to, high speed reel. You see me burning it on top of the water right there. Just like that, you can stop it for just a second every now and then. You're almost blowing it out of the water. You can see how fast it is. You can't hear it with the camera, but it's really loud. And that was two and two cast on it right there. You see this point right here, you see a bunch of rock and shell up there, you know. We've got these fish kind of dialed in on the, where exactly they're at on these points and it changes daily, but you know, we got a little wind blown point right here and I can take my Minn Kota Ultrex, hit spot lock and fan cast all over it, do exactly what I want to, throw where I want to and not have to worry about the boat positioning because it's deeper here. You can't put your Raptors down. You know, I'm using that Ultrex to spot lock and, and make this cast right there over and over and over. You see these spots we're running, you know, it's, it's not like it's the shad spawn where you have 40, 50, 60, 100 bass on a spot, you know. You might, like we pulled up here and caught two, you might pull up and just get one on a spot or two on a spot or, or miss one and have to come back. You know, you got to keep rotating spots, rotate points, you know. You can go down the bank too, don't get me wrong, you can do all kinds of stuff, but just keep moving. You're not going to sit there and just catch a million of them this time of year, you know. You're going to have to cover water, hit multiple spots, you know. But once you find them, you know, you can, you know, spot lock or put your raptors down and make that cast, catch two or three and go on to the next one. 